All right, so the other assignment that's going to be due this week is something about MAMP, M-A-M-P, -A -A MAMP. It stands for something, which you will learn more in detail as you go through the various readings. So we've got readings one through four. They're not complex at all, and it's about using this brand new software called MAMP. So all of the instructions of what you'll need to do in order to get the best grade for this, which is due by Sunday, uh, are listed right there. And in short, you need to demonstrate that you're able to set up the software um, at your own computer and send me a screenshot. And all of those details are listed right there and what you need to put in the screenshot. We'll look at that soon enough. So here's what we can do together. Let's go to this website. So open up your favorite browser and let's go to the website mamp.info. It's M-A-M-P dot info. And that's, of course, inside of our readings and everything, MAMP.info. So MAMP is a software for you to create a web server. A web server is just a special computer that is connected to the internet that serves a website, that gives you a website. Right now, when we went to MAMP.info, we are connecting to some computer somewhere in the world that says, here is the HTML code of this website. And if you didn't know, you can look at the HTML code about just about any website that exists. Do you know how to do this trick to look at the code of a website? It depends on the web browser, but like, for example, I'm in Firefox. If you press Control U, I think it also does it on other browsers. If you press Control U, or maybe if you right click, some of them also have it. If you right click, it says View Source. Control U, View Source. You can see the code of just about any website unless they've taken extra features to lock it down. And even though in this example it is 612 lines of HTML, there should be some things here and there that you might recognize. Hey, I see the HTML element and I see doc type. I see a few meta tags that I hadn't seen before, but then I see some links to some style sheets. Um, they have some JavaScript in their site and then the main body. So one way to learn uh, advanced concepts in uh, web design is to look at someone else's website. You're able to basically select all, copy and paste, and copy that into visual code and start playing with it. Websites were originally made like this, that all of the code that builds a website was there for everyone to see. It was this like thing that was non-copyrighted, like free to put out for everyone to use, and it's this technology that has changed the world. But this HTML file exists somewhere, and it exists on a web server, which is a special computer connected to the internet. And those are usually not free. Yes, there are some free versions, but I don't talk about those just yet. Um, so you get, you buy your space, you buy your own little piece of the internet, and then you can have victor.com or amazingpets.biz or whatever, you buy a web server space. Question? This isn't like a hosting, right? Like it's it is. Like hosting, uh, hosting these service providers, um, when you buy hosting, you're basically buying a space on a web server. And there's different levels of that because you can have a dedicated server, a shared server, all of that kind of stuff. Well, yeah. uh, I'm just asking, so this is like your own instead of having to pay annually or how does it work? That, exactly, that's what we're getting at here, because instead of having to pay one of these companies to host your website on their web servers, we can create our own totally free version um, that we can make our own website on and make 20 websites onto it all for free. Uh, the only catch is that it's not on the real internet, because it says your local web development solution. We're going to set ourselves up with MAMP which is a way to create a web server to have websites. But you will only be able to see those websites on the computer that you're sitting at. That's good and bad. Well, it's bad that it's not on the real internet. I want my website to be on the real internet. But you usually cannot really get your website on the real internet unless you're paying some provider. Um, it's good because I can test and plan and prepare my website as much as I want before putting it live. I can prep it to be perfect before I put it live on the internet. And when we get to the software WordPress next week, it must be installed on a web server. So I'm not going to ask you to go off to one of these providers and go buy a hosting account or buy server space 
um, we're going to use MAMP for a few of those lessons. Eventually, when you do want to look professional and such, and I want my portfolio online, you know, I want victorwebdesign.biz. Um, I will have to pay for a real provider, and we'll cover that later. This lesson is going to be about the free alternative. And so the website's going to tell you what is this about, how does it work, etc. There's two versions, MAMP and MAMP Pro. Pro is often a code word for not free. So now you know. If something says Pro, it might, be, it might have some cost. We're going to use the completely free version, MAMP. And it's for Windows or Mac. Uh, so when you do this on your own computer, you'll have the opportunity to do it on both. If you're doing it on, the, on like our class computers here or at the library computers, you should still be able to set it all up as we will see how. So the website explains what all of this stuff is and there's way more than we really need to care about at the moment. But at the top, uh, we've got MAMP Pro and MAMP. Click MAMP at the top. There's one more link at the top, MAMP. That's basically the same thing. Okay, not too much there. It just takes talks again about, well, what's in MAMP are these technologies, MySQL, Apache, and PHP. Behind these websites are often this other technology. It's not just about writing your HTML code and it's a website. There's technology behind the scenes. And that's other complicated technology. But MAMP puts it all together into one easy install package. So it just tells you what's inside of it. And if you know any of this advanced stuff, MAMP is a, is a possible solution if you need to make websites. Uh, we've got the free download. Um, click on free download. We don't actually have to download it right now because the, the software is already on our computers in this room but most likely on every other computer on campus and most likely at your own home computer you don't have this yet um, so when you when you do the assignment which all the details are here download MAMP install it using the defaults and start servers well we've already downloaded MAMP for you here but these next things that you need to do let's talk about them so if you go to the start menu on Windows here you should see there's an entry for MAMP and there's the MAMP software. So you can minimize the web browser for a moment and go to the start menu and find the software MAMP inside the folder MAMP. This of course assumes that it got installed. We did it for you. When you do this at home you you will install it on your Mac or Windows and you'll then start it. This starts up with this little screen here. This is the MAMP sort of control panel screen. This will be part of... Ultimately, what you're going to turn in for this assignment is a screenshot that you showed that you know what you're doing. One of the things in the screenshot that you need to show me is this screen running, as well as other things that I'll show you. But when I started MAMP, it seemed to, on its own, have also turned itself on with this little icon right now it says stop servers but if you didn't click on it it would have said start servers and in my case also these green check marks turned on Apache server and MySQL did everyone get that to start up anyone uh, having any trouble did you get the MAMP software running did it automatically start these servers did these become green for you if they didn't become green you'll need to turn them on that's also in the instructions but you need to start the software and click start servers if it doesn't start for you and let those turn on green Did that work for you everyone got that screen up okay this is it we've got a web server where we would normally need to go to some provider like GoDaddy or Bluehost um, host monster etc and purchase this technology for your website to be on we can do it for free with this MAMP software from this particular screen the uh, MAMP control panel, click on Open Web Start Page. So that'll open your web browser again, and then it'll show you this screen. Welcome. MAMP is installed. It says a bunch of stuff. You've got version 4 or whatever. You've got PHP technology, MySQL technology, 
some uh, information that will be more important later when we log in for databases. That will be later. Examples, that's nice. News, whatever. Okay, so. Um, this screen, the MAMP control panel screen, plus the MAMP um, web start page screen, plus one more. When you do your assignment, you're going to need to create a screenshot of your whole screen so that I can see that this is running, so that I can see that you've got the web start page running, and then one more thing. Do you see when you've got the, uh, the web start page, there's also a link at the top, my, web, my website. Click on my website at the top. OK, it says this virtual host is successfully running. If you can see this page, your new virtual host is set up. Now web content can be added to this placeholder page and should be replaced or deleted. So this is saying, now you're ready to create a website. But your website has to be put into here, this path, on your hard drive in the MAMP folder in the htdocs folder put your website. That's what that's telling us. So in order to do that, I'm going to move these windows away to the, to the side and open up this PC. Let's go to the desktop here and open up the this PC window. And following the path that it's giving us, it says, OK, in the C drive, in the MAMP folder, in the htdocs folder. OK, so on my, on my Explorer window here. On the Mac, it's slightly different. Make sure you see what it tells you on the Mac. You're going to go into your Applications folder first, I believe, and then MAMP. So if you're on the Mac, just check what it's telling you there. But here on Windows, it says, OK, go to the C drive. So I have my local disk C. Double click that. And um, I've got a brand new folder right here, MAMP. So I'll double click that. And then next it says, OK, you should have a folder called htdocs. So if you open up htdocs, this screen that I'm seeing here is this website code plus the image. In this htdocs folder, I can make as many subfolders as I want. And in each folder, I can have a website. So let's do this for practice. In the htdocs folder here, let's create a new folder. And I'm going to call it my site. The name of the folder can be anything you want. I would recommend to keep it lowercase with no spaces. But it can be called anything you want. And so in the htdocs folder, I've got a new website folder. Open that one. And in this folder, I want to create an index.html file. Well, how do I create and work with or edit an index.html file? What software have we used before? Yeah. In, in the text editors, the visual the, the code editors, yes, like visual code and such. So we have a folder where our website could exist. We have it in the right place. We have the MAM software running. We just don't have any website code yet. So let's go to Visual Code. In Visual Code, we're going to tell it, pay attention to this folder. In Visual Code, we're going to create a brand new index.html file. We're going to make a totally simple, quick HTML page so that we can further show you how MAMP is working. Um, OK, I'm going to start Visual, uh, visual Code. Or oh, actually, what do we have? We have brackets in here, right? Uh, we have brackets. Yeah, brackets. Okay, so whatever code editor, we've got brackets in here. So let's open up brackets. I teach in two different rooms, and the different rooms have different the software, so I forget which one is which. We go ahead and start uh, start brackets. Yeah. 
And I'll say, first of all, file close all. I don't need to see their getting started screen. And then we'll go to file open folder. I want to open the folder that I just created a moment ago. So we'll go to file menu open folder. And once again, so in on the left in this PC, in the local disk drive C. Inside of MAMP folder, inside of htdocs folder, there's the folder I created, my site. Double click that one, and then select the folder. So uh, Brackets is looking at the folder that I created inside of my site, inside of MAMP. And now we will do File New to create our index.html file. And we'll save that as index.html. So in Visual Code, I'm saving a brand new file, index.html, in the MySite folder, in the htdocs, in MAMP. We're creating a brand new empty document in the MySite folder. And here we'll do that little bit of um, practice um, to create a totally simple HTML document. Remember this? We've got the exclamation, doc type, HTML, HTML block, head, body. We've got the meta tag, car set. So we've done this a few times before. UTF-8, title, my site. Hello world. So we'll do that. We've done that a few times before. Just a quick 10 lines of code here. Um, and then we'll proceed in a moment. If anyone's having any trouble, of course, let me know. We want to create this totally quick website, and then we'll see how do we see it. What do we look at? All right, so these 10 lines, this is enough for a completely simple web page. And before, we might click on the little lightning bolt to see it. But instead, the whole concept here is, OK, I'm still writing a website. And next week, we're going to start to talk about WordPress, which is a little more complex and more powerful as well. Also, it will shield you from a lot of the coding here. So after now that we've done three assignments, now let me ask this time. Let me ask again, after we did the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, how many of you kind of hated those three assignments? Raise your hand if you are honest. OK, a few people. How many of you thought it was kind of cool assignment, maybe, sort of? People. So you hated it and loved it, maybe. So coding is an important part of modern web design. But when we get to WordPress next week, this is going to be a software that will let you make a website. And behind the scenes, it's going to write code for you. But in front of the scenes, we're going to click buttons and drop a picture here and put a menu here and make a cool sidebar, just way faster to make a website. And I don't cover that right away because I do believe that there is a value to have some experience, at least, in the raw code. Because as I showed over here, when we're looking at a website, you know, the college's website, it's made out of all of that code, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And hey, look, there's a bullet point list right there. This is the college's website. All of those links about accreditation, campus maps, and all of that, this is a bullet point list. But it's a cool drop-down menu that has been fully programmed that way. You, you all learned about bullet points and so forth. 
and you learned a, about making links and adding a little bit of CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. Um, but to make a very powerful modern site like this, you often use other software like WordPress, but sometimes you need to go behind the scenes and edit the code way faster than finding the right uh, little bit of, um, of a button right here. Ladies, uh, question right here. So, question. so the, the thing is, by knowing a little bit of the code here, you'll still be able to pull back the curtain of the pretty interface and get your job done. Well, doing this, I want to see this result. And this result is an index file inside of htdocs. Well, my web browser that was up here a moment ago, um, notice my, my address here. It says localhost. If this were a real web, browser, web server at some day, don't type this, but one day I want to have victors site.com. One day I want to have my real domain name where everyone in the world can visit it. We'll get to how to do that eventually. But right now, because we've got MAMP, we've got this special sort of address, localhost. It's on your computer that you're sitting at right now. And I want to see the website I just created. So in my case, localhost, you can type this, my site slash index.html. I created an index file in this folder inside of MAP to access any website that I've created in MAP. I type localhost, not localhost.com or anything like that, just localhost. And then slash whatever the name of the folder. Right now it's called my site tomorrow, my email is something else. And then slash the file you want to access. Press enter. And there's the HTML that I wrote. This HTML here, of course I could press the lightning bolt, but that, that creates its sort of own temporary server, which you don't always have access to. But because of MAMP, because I confirmed that this web start screen right here said everything's ready, and because then I wrote my code inside of this folder, I have a website. So as you read the details of the homework assignment, I'm going to need to see a screenshot something like this, where I see that your MAMP is running with both of the services on. The screen over here that is the MAMP, sort of like welcome thing. There's a folder where my website is at inside of the MAMP folder, and then ultimately my website. And the website you're going to use is just the same one from before. You're not going to create a brand new website. You're going to use the last version of your website from the previous weeks, the one that has your HTML plus the CSS plus the JavaScript, that autobiographical site you've been working on. That's what I want to see here when you upload your screenshots. And compared to last week, this assignment, you will probably do it a lot faster because, first of all, um, the MAMP software is easy to install. And now that I've shown you, here's where your website goes. This is what you need to show me, your real website. It should go a lot faster because this is not too complex. Um, but that is what the week five is basically saying. Um, download it on your computer, install it. Um, turn things on. Here's links if you need to do it on Windows or Mac. Uh, put your website from last week into the htdocs folder. Go look at your site. Here's some examples. Sometimes if you just type localhost, it might not work. You might have to type also colon 8888 and then the path. And then of course whatever you called your folder. Right now I called it my site. But if your folder has the date, well logically whatever folder Whatever the name of the folder is inside of htdocs, if I call the folder kitty cat, and it has to be localhost slash kitty cat slash index html. Uh, with MAMP start page on the screen, htdocs folder on the screen, and the web browser, take a screenshot. How to take a screenshot is listed right there, Windows and Mac, and upload that to Canvas. Um, 
that's the full credit there and then the details I do have to go into detail did you do this 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 and this it is going to be broken down for the full 10 points that's the homework that's going to be due by Friday I just need to know that on, on, on another computer you can install MAMP because we're going to use this for the next several weeks so I need to know that you can download it install it put a website in there not the hello world that's not going to count I want to see your website that you've worked on before because then when we get to WordPress, we're going to get a little more complex. And then we're going to look at making more complex websites without the need uh, to have to write this code. We could apply the code we've learned, but WordPress will help us a lot. That's sort of the big idea. It's not a really long lecture, but the idea maybe is a few, a few, level, a few layers. Does that make sense? General questions on what we did together? general questions on what you need to do for the assignment. If not, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I wanted to do the, the writing assignment regarding the exhibit. If you came in a little bit late, you'll need to go to the exhibit and uh, check it out and check Canvas to see what the details are. Uh, you might want to practice this so that you can do the, the homework for that. That'll be due on Sunday. And we'll just have lab time. If you want to stay and do your lab work here, that's fine. Get it, get started on the art assignment if you want. Uh, I want to see this result off of your own computer, and we'll be here to help you and such. And again, mind your deadlines. Don't try to turn it in on you know Sunday night and whoops, my internet's not working. You know, try to do it a little bit earlier, perhaps to email us and uh, email me and ask for a little help. So that's it for the moment. Uh, this has been recorded. I'm going to upload it. If you need some help, call me over. Work at your own pace. Make sure you signed in on the sign-in sheet at the, uh, at the art gallery. And that's it. You can work here or not at your own pace.